Stoke on Trent, once upon a time, had a very successful, thriving nighttime offer. Over the years, it's significantly declined. And we do want to increase the footfall, but we need to do that whilst reducing the levels of violence. A task and finish group was required to help solve the problem. Normally in a task and finish group, we're all sitting around a table in a stuffy old council building and you invite people in and it can be quite imposing and not a lot of people give of their best there. We come up with a broader, more comprehensive style of task and finish group that was very transparent, that reached out to as many people as possible. The webcasting allowed anyone to see the sessions and what was being debated. The particular innovation was the use of Facebook and also Twitter to start communicating uh, more effectively with a much wider range of people. We never expected to hear from volunteers around their work as street pastors in the evenings. We didn't really know what it was like to be licensees. We didn't know the challenges we actually were able to get live feedback from the tweets that we were making actually during the sessions as they were taking place. Interesting, valuable and really useful comments. All of that in real time. They started the conversation talking to the council but they also took it offline and talked among themselves. One young teenager wrote us a, an entire blog post on what she hoped to see for the city. I think it's definitely broken down barriers, particularly with young people who don't generally think about local politics. This process has been very empowering for people who are not used to the way that we, we do local politics, to get used to being consulted with, to keep tabs on issues that directly affect them. It's give a real powerful message to the committee of what the Hanley is like, what we would like to see, and hopefully that will lead to some real positive outcomes. People are starting to think differently and starting to think that actually we're all part of a bigger, wider picture here and we're looking at things in a much more joined up way.